up? It's your boy Paul Picasso, Picasso Entertainment. Uh, coming to you again with another video. Thanks for joining in. If you're new coming to this channel, you know, you want to go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button for some exclusive content. Alright, so without further ado, today's video we'll be uh, reviewing uh, a custom ROM for the Nexus 4. That's uh, the Nexus 4 over here. And we'll be reviewing a custom ROM for it, and it's the one and only Omni ROM with its latest uh, unofficial, uh, yet uh, pretty stable to me. You know, no uh, complaints or anything like that. But it is Omni ROM 4.4.1 uh, for the Nexus 4, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into that. Okay guys, so yeah, I did shut the phone off, so uh, I wanted to show you the boot and everything like that. Uh, again, it is OmniRom 4.4, uh, and it is the nightly build. This is the latest nightly build, which was, um, yeah, the 6th of November. Uh, I, just, uh, over, I just flashed it over the, uh, uh, the 4th of December, sorry, not November. So, standard OmniRom uh, boot logo. We're gonna let that boot up. I do like the OmniRom boot logo. Um, I have a few custom boot logos, so I might just flash a different one uh, if I get tired of seeing that uh, that OmniRom boot logo. Okay, so. This is the standard uh, KitKat lock screen, as you can see. Um, you know, you got your time. You're you are able to. Uh, well, we'll get into that later on. Okay, as you see down here, the KitKat, you are able to swipe up, get straight into that. Uh, the little camera icon over here, as you've seen from my other videos with the 4.4, uh, that KitKat uh, ROM from the Nexus 5, the M. What was it? I think it was the uh, M5. N5, sorry, that N5 port. I do have a video of that. It's an actual uh, ROM of the Nexus 5 ported to the Nexus 4. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and unlock the phone. And there it is, you are greeted with uh, basically the Google Experience Launcher, or GEL, G-E-L. Okay, and as standard, um, the only thing though, uh, you know, you don't have that uh, voice command. Uh, let's just try it out and show you. Okay, Google. See, you don't have that voice command. So, um, okay, and of course it is just the regular, I'm sure you guys have already seen the Google Experience Launcher, I'll just run through it very quickly. Uh, you swipe to the left, you are presented with Google Now. Um, some ROMs you are able to say, okay Google, and it would pop up. Uh, this one, this ROM doesn't have anything like that. So, um, yeah, but OmniRom is pretty sweet, I do like it. You have the standard uh, KitKat dialer course you know nothing different there standard KitKat dialer uh, of course hangouts is the uh, you know you are able to set that as your default messaging app and uh, uh, yeah everything else is the same um, you do have those uh, big icons you know no widgets on there anything like that so standard you want to add apps add screens uh, you do it like that if you were to remove all the screens uh, Yeah, if you were to remove all of the screens from sorry remove all the apps from the screens Then you would go down to one screen and uh, that's yeah, as I said that is the basic Google experience launcher now there are a few things with Omni ROM so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go into settings and uh, Oh, sorry. That's actually settings for uh, Google Experience Launcher, open the app drawer, we're going to navigate to settings, open up settings, and this is what settings looks like, which of course nobody is uh, you know, unfamiliar with. Let's zoom in right there. Okay, so of course you got your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, data usage, and more. And here we go. Now, um, again, like I said, flashing this from uh, two nightly builds ago, I, you know, thought that they were going to do something more other than just changing this. This was all in basically all of this bars, menus, and notification drawer on the last two nightly builds were actually in just one 
uh, tap, basically. So, of course, with bars, you hit bars, you're able to uh, do brightness control, notification count, show the number of pending notifications, and indicators and indicators for network speed and network activity. Pretty straightforward. Going below that, then you have menus. Uh, sorry, that's not menus. You have menus. And of course, it's just you, it gives you the option to select screenshot in the power menu. And below that, we have notification drawer where you have this nice little thing here that I kind of like. It's the contextual notification panel head, header or something like that. Basically, it sets the background of the notification panel header to an image based on the current date and time. So, just to show you an example of that, if you go ahead and swipe down the notification, there, as you see on the top there, you have that nice little blue sky, basically. If um, whatever time of day and you swipe down, you will have something basically um, uh, corresponding to the date and time of the day outside. Okay, and last but not least, what I actually really like a lot, uh, taken from the Moto X, would be, uh, as you see right there, active display. Now active display, I love active display um, just because it gives you a nice little way to deal with your notifications um, without uh, having to basically open the phone. So uh, of course straightforward once again you have enable obviously then you have the notification text, uh, all notifications, hide low priority, things like Google Now um, updates. You have pocket mode so basically if it's in your pocket and you put it off pull it out of your pocket what do you want to see you go into that and um, you're able to get the notifications uh, only turn it off or always and I'm assuming always just means you're gonna get everything I'm not too sure so yeah uh, read display notifications I just said the five minutes because uh, that's the estimated time I might look back at my phone show date uh, show a.m. display timeout notification okay guys so I'm gonna so give you a forth. quick look at active display on Omniram 4.4.1 KitKat and I'll uh, show you how this feature looks okay so what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and send myself an email so let's just uh, continue the chain Okay, there we go. And let's wait and see how that works out. And there you go, didn't take too long at all. So as you see, you have the clock up there, you have that, uh, the message, and if you go ahead and tap the message on top, I'll just slide it closer, you do have that preview. Uh, where you can um, see what the message is, who the sender is, so that's kind of cool. You have the option to slide and open it, um, unlock the device, or the X which just closes back the screen. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, and that's active display guys on OmniRom. It is pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite things on the OmniRom. Pretty Rom. straightforward. And um, just to show you guys that it is on OmniROM, let's go to About Phone. And there you can see the Android version. Oh, it is 4.4.1 and OmniRom version 4.4.1. And this is the uh, Maco Nightly for the Nexus 4 and it is December 6th. So since it's nightly, I'm looking for some improvements maybe in the next three or four days. Um, different from what I'm seeing right now. And let's just go ahead and bring up that so you guys see it is KitKat. Let's just get that little Easter egg there. There you go. Oh, I kind of skipped the, I skipped the uh, the other one. Let's go back. There you go. Four point four point one. Okay, and that is Omniram. And of course, you know, everything else is the same. You have the printing, uh, you have, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's something else. Of course, you have, you're able to choose your home. There was something else, I think. Okay, this is what it is. Now, you also get the option to put that clear all button in the recent app drawer. And uh, you get to choose the position of that as well. And I'll just show you what that looks like here. So I go ahead and hit the recent button and there you can see in the bottom left corner, you have that clear all button. 
okay and guys that is basically it for omni rom version 4.4.1 okay everything else is standard straightforward kitkat uh, no dramatic changes yet i'm actually waiting for them to bring back that multi-window to Omniram for the Nexus 4. I did fall in love with multi-window well, when I first flashed uh, one of the first Omniroms for the Nexus 4. You had that multi-window, it was pretty cool. The screen's quite small compared to something like the Galaxy Note 3 or anything like that, but multi-window is still multi-window. All right guys, so that is a look on Omniram 4.4.1. Alright guys, if you like the video, please hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, share the video, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this. Are you on KitKat yet? Uh, what do you think if you have a Nexus 5, did that 4.4.1 update uh, improve the camera like uh, they said that it was going to? Uh, let me know, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button for more content like this guys. And it's your boy Paul Picasso from Picasso Entertainment with another review, signing out, peace.